For many people, the thought of picking up and moving to another country seems very daunting. So it's no wonder that they will be wondering if they will be struggling financially once they got there. And not many people got the means to do such a thing, so wanting to know something like that is not strange. I don't find it peculiar at all for people to want to know how they'll be spending their money once they get to a country like Germany. So today, I think I'm gonna try and answer the question as best I can. Exactly how expensive is Germany? Okay, so the first thing we're gonna start off with is cars. So when it comes to vehicles, this isn't gonna be the same for everybody, but I've owned a number of different kinds of vehicles now, back in the States and here. I once upon a time owned a Grand Am, I once upon a time owned a Mazda 626 or 929, one of those, I don't remember, it was a while ago. I've owned a Ford Ranger, and right now I'm in possession of two other vehicles, this BM you see here, and a Citroen Picasso. Back in the States, those cars cost me anywhere between twelve dollars and $14,000. And here, this car cost me $3,000, and the Picasso cost me €4,000, both pre-owned. So you can expect to spend about that much on a nice, decent vehicle. Now, how long it lasts is probably gonna depend. Obviously, you're gonna have to know how much that car has been through. It depends on the age of the vehicle. It depends on the abuse of the vehicle. It, becomes, it depends on the previous owner's treatment of the vehicle, like maintenance and stuff like that all of that is going to play a role in how long your vehicle lasts so don't just come here and stick your money under anything always do your research to see if it's worth the investment something else it's going to depend on is if you're the kind that's okay with the pre-owned vehicle or are you the kind that likes to get vehicles brand new i myself i don't like making payments and i don't like paying forever so i'm not the brand new vehicle kind of guy anymore I used to be like that, but now I can get a decent vehicle for considerably less than I would be paying for years and years on car notes and car payments. So decide wisely where your money's gonna go. Are you more of a making payments for a number of years kind of person? Or do you like to just buy a car flat out and just be done with it? And save for a few things here and there, both of my vehicles have kind of held up over the years. So you do want to be wary of what your vehicle is going to be capable of. The costs I paid might not be exactly what you see. I just want you to kind of have an idea of what you can stand to spend on a pre-owned vehicle. That's the route I took. So let's talk about rent next. Or maybe I should have talked about this first. So when it comes to rent though. So the rent that I used to pay back in the States from my experience ranged anywhere from 600 on up to about 1300 and that was for apartments i've only had a house once and that was the house i moved in before i got back to germany and it was a three bedroom house with garage patio private backyard and things like that so it was okay but the rooms were small they were very very tiny so let me give you a tour of what this place is kind of like for almost that same amount so in here i have this which is my office living room of course, the dining room. I'll get to that in a second. This is, oh, it's all blown out. This is the kitchen. You've seen this place in a couple videos. Back here is our laundry room. So there's a machine for that. Bathroom, it's not a full bath, but there's one of the bathrooms, all right? There's another bedroom my bedroom, another bedroom, a bathroom. Back there, I used to use as my game room, but I had to switch here. I, I brought everything out of there and moved everything downstairs so that I can have everything in one place. So this is another two part area that I don't use. Basement, obviously a driveway and over here, is where I park my car. There's a garage to put my vehicles in. So basically I get all of that, all of that I just showed you in this house for just over a thousand euros. Please keep in mind that this is likely not typical. You might have to do a little business talking to get what you want, but that's my comparison and you can kind of use that as a loose example. Now on to food. Food is gonna be another one of those things that's going to have a wide range of possibilities depending on how you spend your money and what you eat. So again, use this loosely as well. 
So things that I'm used to having that I won't do without, like bacon and ground beef, I don't mind paying more for because these are things that I'm gonna have regardless, okay? So yes, this bacon can get a bit expensive and uh, so can the beef at times, but those are things that I don't mind paying for because I gotta have them. Now the rest of the stuff I'm about to name off, I feel like Germany does super well. And you can get most of this stuff for pretty, pretty cheap. And I'm betting the prices are comparable to where you're coming from. In my case, it's the US. So veggies and stuff like eggs and especially breads. Now you can't find certain breads here that I'm used to getting in the States. Bagels are a thing that are kind of rare here. You can find them at some places, but not always. So these might get a little pricey. But then there's also sliced bread or toast as they call it here. I, I think it's cheaper here than it would be back in the US. I get this for super cheaper and it's a better quality bread. Other loose and commonly used items such as pastas and rice, also pretty cheap. Most of those pastas are just about a euro or so, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. Same with the rice. Eggs are cheap, I get those for just over a euro as well. The breads, definitely always about a euro or less. Veggies, very cheap, a couple euro at best for a bunch. So you can kind of see where I'm going here. If you play your cards right, you can get a bunch of stuff for little money. And I know a lot of people are saying, well, that money you save on food, you'll probably be spending on bills. Well, let's talk about bills. So bills slash expenses. Not everybody has the same bills, but I know there are a common few that everybody should have. They include electricity, water and trash, and possibly internet. So everybody has at least those, I think, right? So for me, as I look at my electricity statement, Mine usually ranges from between 125 to about 200 euros per month. Now I know a lot of people are gonna be like, damn! damn, but trust me when I say that that's actually a drop down from what I'm used to paying. Back in the States at the last house I had, I could be paying anywhere from 300 to four, close to $500 in electricity per month. Imagine that. So coming down to just over 100, to barely 200 is a plus for me. Water and trash shouldn't be a problem for most people because I know here a lot of renters added into the cost of the rent, but I have seen it separate. And when I see it separate, it's usually around 20 to 30 or 40 euros per person. So if you had a four person household, you can expect to pay anywhere between 80 and almost 200 euros for water and trash. Don't lock in these numbers. They can obviously fluctuate depending on who you're dealing with. So as far as internet, people I know are all about it. So they don't mind paying more for it to get it. That includes me. I want the best internet possible. D did you miss that video? Did you? So internet for me here has been okay. I've been able to game online without disturbance. I've been able to keep a nice upload schedule for YouTube. It could be better, but getting what I get for what I pay, I think is good. So my internet here is only just about 40 euros and that's only for 25 download, five upload connection. That's not the best, I know that, but it's serving pretty well. We're pretty close to the tower too. I don't know if that makes a difference. I can see it from the house. And this is with the smaller local company. I thought this route was better because of how cheap the prices were for the same amount of uh, coverage that the bigger company was willing to offer. Almost went with the bigger company and I would have been paying an arm and a leg for the same thing as what I'm getting right now. But internet service providers will fluctuate. Be prepared for your experience to be nothing like what I just talked about. It just means that you're special. So clothes and shoes, depending on your style, depending on how much you spend on clothes and shoes, this could do you good or it could break you. Now I don't spend on clothes like I used to. The times have changed for me. So I don't mind finding the bargain deals and getting the best setup for my money. There's lots of different shirts and stuff that you can match with pants. Uh, when it comes to shoes, you can get shoes at a reasonable price. So I look for the places that I can stretch the money the furthest and I just rock with that. Now, if you're a brand namer and a high dollar spender, I can't speak for you on that. You're gonna have to get here and see what you can do. I've given up on spending so much money on these brands. Every now and then I'll treat myself, but it is not common as it used to be. So this is something you're gonna have to experiment for yourself. Insurance, health and auto insurance. Health first, it is a requirement here. 
so you cannot skip on this. So this is gonna depend on which company you choose and how many people you have in your family and their ages. For me, I'm still paying more than I'd like to be, and that's because I haven't switched over to the German system yet. I'm still covered under the US system. So the cost to cover myself and all the people underneath me gets up to more than about $300 a month. Even still, this is considerably less than what it was while I was actually in the States. When I was there, it was almost $700 a month. Can you even picture that? Crazy. Automobile insurance, also mandatory, also gonna depend on who you go with. I actually lucked up on automobile insurance. I'm just paying over 100 euros for both vehicles. For me, that's good because it's down from almost 300. So maybe someone who's German can pause the video right now, go down into the comments and tell me how much your insurance ranges and for how many vehicles. Let me know, I need to know. If all of that automobile insurance talk and paying for cars and buying car talk is too much for you, you also have public transportation. And seeing as you'll need it to get almost anywhere, it likely will become an expense. Take however much it costs to use public transportation where you're coming from and just compare it to what I'm about to tell you it costs here in Germany because it's pretty typical and if it ranges, it won't be by that much. So in the US, particularly in a place like New York City, I paid $30 for a week long, all-inclusive mode of transportation, all five boroughs, unlimited Metro card. That got me on all the transportation. That got me anywhere I needed to go at any time I needed to go there. To me, that was fabulous. So here in Germany, at least in this region, to get the full area pass where you can ride the trains and the buses and all that stuff, whenever you need them and to anywhere within that particular area, in my case, it would be the Rhineland Falls area, that would cost 25 euros, but it's only for 24 hours. Now I understand there are different kinds of passes. You would have to go to like the Deutsche Bahn app or something like that to kind of figure out how much you need to pay for where you're going and how long you need to be going there. I'm almost sure there's weeklies, maybe monthlies. There may be even a yearly pass, I'm not sure. I don't need something like that yet, so I haven't looked in on it. But just comparing those two similar situations, you can see the difference between one and the other. You guys can be the judge for yourself. Is Germany expensive or is it right on par with where you live? Feel free to talk with me about it in the comments. I'm always there. If you haven't joined the nation yet, please consider doing so. I welcome you. I welcome you. But for now, let's move on to the next video. It's waiting for you right here and I will see you guys over there. Thanks for watching.